I would like to welcome all students, family members, staff members, and friends to the class of 2020 commencement ceremony at Wapsie Valley Community School District. When I think of the class of 2020, one word comes to my mind, perseverance. In the short time I have known this group of young people, young adults, I had seen them persevere in the classroom, on stages of music and acting, on athletic courts, mats, and fields, in state competitions and conventions. I have seen them persevere in developing, developing their relationships that will last you a lifetime. And yes, I have seen them persevere through a pandemic that denied them many of the things they look forward to in their senior year. But today is the day of celebration and Mother Nature has rewarded us finally, this group of the beautiful Iowa day. I'm gonna leave this group of seniors with this thought and this quote. Your calling isn't something that somebody can tell you about. It's what you feel. It's a part of your life force. It is the thing that gives you juice. The thing that you are supposed to do. And nobody can tell you what that is. You know it inside yourself. Oprah Winfrey. So class of 2020, I challenge you to find your juice. What is it in life? And enjoy that journey that you have been going on up to this point and the many challenges that await you. You will persevere. Have a great day. On January 13, 2020, the class of 2020 gathered in the auditorium to decide on our class color, flower, song, and quote. Now, as many of the students and teachers know, and probably even a few parents, on any quote winter day when the snow starts to fall, you're guaranteed to hear more than a few seniors yelling up and down the halls and telling every junior high student possible, getting out early. You see, the seventh and eighth graders are typically the most gullible, making them the best targets to tell first. They start telling their friends and those kids tell other friends until it's spread throughout the school that we're getting out early, when in reality we barely had any snow. The class of 2020 felt that because of this, getting out early would be the perfect quote to leave our mark on Wapsie Valley. Little did we know those three words would ring so true and be the guiding memory of our senior year. Garrett Barnes put together an amazing video for our senior class that I'm sure a majority of you have seen. In that video, the teachers talked about our potential, being positive, and all the great memories we have. But the thing that stuck with me the most was something Mr. Davey said. He said the class of 2020 is going to be the most famous graduating class because of what we have endured these past few months. No other class will be able to say they went through what we did. He also said that we will be the leaders of the future, having dealt with such lots, and has made us so much stronger and will allow us to do great things in our lives. I truly believe this, not just of the Wapsie Valley class of 2020, but all 2020 graduates. We all have the potential to be leaders. We just have to use our experiences we have gained from this time to push us forward into something great. We are family. This has been an underlying theme of Wapsie Valley for many years, but we just started to embrace it more widely this year. The students, staff, parents, and community members of Wapsie Valley are some of the most supportive people there are. Without them, our class would not have been shaped into the exceptional people that we are today. This pandemic has taken a toll on much of the world, but our community has not let us suffer through this alone. They have done everything possible to make sure that the end of our senior year is the best it can be in the present circumstances. They put together a graduate parade through the towns, offered words of encouragement and advice through Garrett's video, and ensured that we would be able to have a live graduation. I know that I speak for all of our senior class when I say thank you, Wapsie Valley, for everything you have done for us. Seniors, I encourage you to come.
Good afternoon. Before I start today, I would just like to warn everyone that this speech is a product of a Wapsie Valley education. I don't know what many of these big words mean, but my mom told me they make me sound smarter. It's great to see everyone here today. It feels like it's been so long since we've been able to gather as a community like this. Corona may have taken away our idealistic view of the remainder of our senior year, but it can't take away everything we've worked so hard for these last four years. It's great that we can have this opportunity to recognize everyone's hard work and dedication. Time flies so quickly. It feels like just yesterday we were sophomores with senioritis, but here we are today with our last day of it. Enjoy. Somehow, despite everything that's happened, we still manage to graduate. I'm just as surprised as you are. <laughs> On a serious note, I would like to thank the entire Wapsie Valley community for supporting us these last four years. From the teachers, to the parents, to the administration who cared for us and helped us along during our journey. Without all of your hard work adapting to little speed bumps like a global pandemic, we never would have been able to have this beautiful ceremony. You really did your best to try and make our senior year feel special. And I think I speak for the class when I say you were successful. We've had a lot of amazing teachers and a lot of good principals who have always done their best to help us. The curves that some teachers have set saved so many G GPAs. And I know we're all grateful for that. I'd also say that Mrs. Thornton has done a great job managing this wild bunch known as the class of 2020. I think she's been a spectacular principal, and I should know, I've had eight over the last 13 years at Wapsie. I'd say she's top five at least. The class of 2020 has had quite a journey. We've had a lot of great times over the last four years. I remember walking to school the first day of seventh grade thinking, wow, it's hot in here. We really need air conditioning. But we've come a long way since then. I walked in on the first day of senior year and thought, wow, it's still hot in here. We need better air conditioning. But the memories that have come from this hot and humid school can never be replaced. This year alone, we all went down to Cedar Rapids and watched the girls compete for a state volleyball title. Great job, Lady Warriors. We also went to the Wells and watched the boys basketball team win their first state title. Way to go, Marty and Rune. We've also had our fair share of hardships and setbacks, from the mold outbreak two years ago, to the hallways flooding with toilet water, to the snow days, and now, Rona season. But through all these setbacks, we've grown stronger and closer together. These obstacles don't define us. Our perseverance is what defines us. It's been a long road to where we are today, Along the way, we've learned a lot about ourselves and the world around us. One thing that has been ingrained into our mentality is the warrior way. Since elementary school, we were taught to be kind, respectful, responsible, safe, and always do our best. I think that these values will serve us well for the rest of our lives. I truly believe that if you make these your core beliefs, there is nothing that you can't accomplish. It's important to remember, chase your dream. Don't just dream them, take initiative and make it happen. Success never came easily to anyone. They fought for it. This is just the start of your journey through life. Everything you do from today on will define you as a person. So do what you can to achieve great things. At one point, every successful person was just like you, sitting in a chair at their graduation wondering what in the world they're going to do with the rest of their life. If they figured it out, you can too. The class of 2020 has big plans. Some of us are going into the workforce, others are going to college. Some of us are going into the military to serve our country, and others are starting their own businesses. Our time at Wapsie has helped prepare us for all these different paths. It will be interesting to see where we have all ended up in 10 or 20 years. I wish everyone the best of luck, and always remember, we are family.
moment and think about how the challenges that have been put in front of you in the past few months or maybe the past few years have shaped you for the better. What did it teach you about yourself? You have a lot to be thankful for, that much I know. While you might have missed out on some key moments of your senior year, like that senior prank you guys kept telling me about, maybe you can give it to the juniors, you also had moments about that other seniors have only dreamed of, like playing in not just one state championship, but two. I've learned a lot of things about you in the past 10 months, and I've seen growth in each and every one of you during this year. I see your abilities to find the silver lining in things, your kindness, your dedication, your loyalty, your spirit, and the deep love that you have for your families and your community. This class is special in a lot of ways. And yes, did them yelling, we're getting out early at the sign of a snowflake to a bunch of gullible junior high kids really irritate me at times? Sure did. But you also know that I genuinely care about each and every one of you, and I wish you nothing but the best for the rest of your lives. So before I end this probably way too sappy speech, let me leave you with four pieces of advice. Be kind. We need a lot more kindness in the world. And you'll need to remember to be kind to yourself too. Getting older is difficult and it's inevitable that you'll slip up, but that's okay as long as you learn from it and you do better. Be brave. Take chances and do something great. You're all capable of such amazing things and whatever path you choose, whether that's higher education, the workforce or service, be brave enough to step out of your comfort zone and reach your full potential. Be yourself. No explanation needed. You're all awesome and you know that. Just be you. And most importantly, don't ever forget where you're from and what it means to be a warrior. Sloan Michelle Banger. Please turn and face your family and your friends. Seniors, at this time, please move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left side of the cap, signifying your graduation. It is with my distinct pleasure to present to you the Wapsie Valley Class of 2020. You may open your envelopes and release your butterflies. Congratulations, Class of 2020.